Shooting in Metairie has left one man dead and another in the hospital tonight. WDSU's Elizabeth Kubel was on the scene for hours today. She's live at JPSO headquarters with the latest on the investigation. And Elizabeth, how the community is reacting to the violence. Yeah, community members say that this is heartbreaking as investigators tonight try to figure out what led to this most recent deadly violence. A heavy and somber scene. Neighbors look on as JPSO detectives investigate a deadly double shooting. We watched for hours as officers comb through this taped off area in Metairie near South Cumberland and Milan streets and listened as community members reacted. I don't know what happened out here, uh, what was the cause of it, but I know just like me, so many others are tired of seeing it because a lot of families are involved. Uh, coming from like the last five years, I lost probably like seven, seven friends to gun violence. So It's really crazy because this ain't even the area. You know, even like, I'm surprised to see that, you know, this happened right here. Officers say they were called around 2.45 Friday afternoon, and when they got to the scene, they found two men inside a vehicle. Both had been shot at least once. But then you got to think about um, the time of this incident that happened. You have school kids that's coming off the bus, and, you know, what message are we setting? What message are we setting? They getting off the bus, so they got to be detoured because they see the yellow tape. A call to end the violence as families now cope with what happened. We're told one victim died on the scene. The second was taken to the hospital. Just praying for the families um, that was involved with this. Anybody that was connected, anybody that was involved, just praying for them. That's the only thing that I can say. And tonight, JPSO has not identified the victims. They also tell us that right now they do not have any suspect or motive information. Reporting live at JPSO headquarters, I'm Elizabeth Kubel, WDSU News. All right, Elizabeth, thank you for that. And if you know anything that can help Jefferson Parish detectives with the investigation, please give them a call. Their number is 504-364-5300.